Hey guys, I'm Rich from Neowin. Today we're unboxing the HP Elite Dragonfly. So, interesting name for a product, but um, that's not really what we're here to discuss. HP announced this thing a couple of months ago, and I'm, I'm guessing the reason that they called it Elite Dragonfly is because the Elite book lineup is kind of full. You know, this is actually something new. You know, um, if anything, this is a successor to the Elite book X360 1030. But again, the like the Elite Book 1000 series already means something. So uh, this is something that's, that's pretty new. It's very light, and that's that's going to be the key selling point. It starts at 2.18 pounds, which is wildly light, especially for a convertible. It's the smallest 13 inch, um, the lightest 13 inch convertible that I know of. Um, I do. I, I worry about battery life. I know. Here's the thing. HP loves to promote battery life in its products and um, they, they do they tend to have great battery life and sometimes um, they sacrifice the specs on review units because of it and, and it kind of makes me wonder what happens if you get a different config like um, for, for instance um, they're also sending out Spectre review units right now and the, the big thing with the new Spectre one of the big new features other than the smaller footprint it's lighter and everything but it comes with a 4k OLED display so, so they'll tell us like, yeah, this 4K OLED display, it's beautiful. We did all this stuff to make it better than other OLED displays. It's great. We're sending you the 1080p configuration because we know you're going to be doing battery life tests. And it's like, okay. You know, so, so the Dragonfly, uh, like most Elite books, there's three configurations. There's a low power 1080p display. This is, it has a one watt 1080p display. And then there, there's, um, the SureView display, that's the one with the privacy screen, and um, that's awesome. If you if you are worried about people looking over your shoulder ever, it's a fantastic feature. This has SureView Gen 3. I've not had a chance to actually test out SureView Gen 3, because HP hasn't actually sent me a unit with it yet. Um, it's a thousand nit screen, and G Gen 3 actually turns the screen dark. If, you're, if someone's looking over your shoulder, they'll see a dark screen, where it used to be a white screen. Okay, and um, and then you have the um, 4K UHD panel. So I mean, you know, like, like I said, HP will go up there and, and say, say, hey, there's two types of people. There's those that need SureView and those that don't know they need SureView, and like that's how much they'll push this. And they're like, and then we're sending you the one watt 1080p um, because we know you we know you're doing battery tests. And it's like, you know, like. The, some of the coolest, the, all the cool display features are missing, and like, and the and the reason that, that I went down that tangent is because this model is actually two and a half pounds, which is still super light. Um, but there's a two cell battery, and if you get the two cell battery, it's two point one eight pounds. If you get the four cell battery, it's two and a half pounds. So obviously, they they sent me the lower res screen, the lower wattage screen the larger battery. So this unit is very much optimized for battery life. Now they did a lot of engineering. I'm, I'm gonna start opening this up. They did a lot of engineering to get this machine the way it is. Okay, so let's pull this out. There's, this is a big box for a 13 inch laptop. This is a heavy box for a 13 inch laptop that's so light, but notice that it does come in a nice fancy box in there. All right, let's see what else is in here. A little cardboard thing. But um, most business PCs don't have the fancy box. That's usually something that's reserved for consumer PCs. Like, I've never seen an Elite Book come with a box like this. And the reason for that is because they're business PCs, right? So if you're in a business, you might... You're never going to see the box. You know what I mean? It's... Um, they usually come in thinner boxes too, just stuff that's easier for IT to stack on a rack. Um, and like I said, you're never even gonna see it. So Elite is still the business brand, even though this isn't called Elite Book. So, oh yeah, there it is. This thing is beautiful. So it's made of magnesium. And that's a lighter material than aluminum. Honestly, aluminum is one of the heaviest materials that you can get in a laptop. So whenever a company tries to go thin and light, they go magnesium. I wonder what's in here. In here, this is going to, oh, it's a sleeve. Yeah, so uh, they did say that there is a sleeve, so that's for storage. 
Now the downside to magnesium is that it tends to feel kind of plasticky. So other companies that use it, say LG with the gram, LG actually has a 14 inch convertible that's 2.52 pounds. Um, but yeah, it's made out of magnesium and yeah, it feels a little plasticky and that's what you're getting for something that's so thin and light. And then you have, um, you know, Acer with the Swift 7, that's made of magnesium. Feels a little bit plasticky. Now, HP says they worked around this by using CNC, CNC machined magnesium. Over here, we've got a, uh, what is this? Oh, just some paperwork. We've got some more paperwork that was in this box as well. You know what else is supposed to be in here is, ah, yes. Okay, found it. The pen. Yes, the pen. This is a convertible. And that's what's what's really cool about it. Like, at 2.18 pounds, a convertible, a 13-inch convertible, that's kind of wild. And I, I almost wish they sent me that one with the smaller battery just so I could experience how light this thing can be. But um, sadly, you know, I mean, I mean 2.5 pounds is still wildly light. So here's the pen. Pretty standard. This, um... Yeah, it's the one that charges with USB Type-C. It's got the little charging port on the side. And then, of course, in the box, we have a charger. Oh, it has the nice uh, braided cable, which uh, I've only, I think, seen ship with the Spectre. And this should be, I hate having to open this up, but it should be a 65-watt charger. Yes, it is a 65-watt charger. Let's wrap this up nicely. Um, it's a beautiful charger, and you should... <laughs> You know, enjoy it. Ah, this isn't going to work out. But, uh, and then, of course, we have the power cable. I, it's a beautiful charger. I just won't use it. It's, um, I try not to use chargers that, that come with laptops just because I have so many chargers. And it's like, um, leaving it in the box makes it so much easier to ship it back because I don't have to think twice about if I'm shipping back the right charger. You know, but that's just me. Okay. And you can feel how, you can feel how light it is. It is. It's super light. Um, and if you decide between the, the battery options, what, what's going to matter is battery life versus portability, right? I mean, if you're, you know, if you're traveling all the time, if this thing's going to spend more time in a bag uh, than it will in an office, then you probably want that larger 2.18 pound model. Although then again, you might want battery life if you're on the road all the time. So who knows? I mean, personally, I... Um, I carry around a 20,000 milliamp hour, 45 watt charger, so I can easily charge a laptop on the go. So I, 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 I go for thin and light, as you might have noticed from my Surface Pro X review. But um, yeah, so this thing's pretty sweet. This thing should have a Core i7-8665U, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigabytes of SSD storage, plus 32 gigabytes of Optane memory. And it also has 4G LTE. So starting with the CPU, I just want to get that out of the way. It's a Core i7-8665U. What is that? That's from the Whiskey Lake family. And the 8, yes, it means it's an 8th gen processor. Now this is something that I'm sure people will comment on every time I get a new PC that's um, where the number is not what the, the newest number is in general. It's a little confusing because say, with the Lenovo Yoga C940 at a 9th gen chip in it. That's because the H series, there is no 10th gen yet. It's kind of the same case here. There's 10th gen U series processors, which is the 15 watt lineup. However, there aren't 10th gen V Pro processors just yet. So that's, um, this is V Pro. That's the 8665U is, is the V Pro lineup. So um, no 10th gen, 8th gen, quad core, 15 watt, 8 threads, V Pro. And um, yeah, so let's open this up. Okay, so here is the keyboard. Now, HP makes a great keyboard, and that's one of the reasons that I'm actually pretty excited about, about reviewing this PC, because the EliteBook uh, X360 1030, and particularly the 1040, had an amazing keyboard on it, and it's one of my favorites to this day. I'm actually starting to like it more than I like Lenovo's ThinkPads the power button yes it's backlit of course the keyboard is clickable it's not really making those sacrifices to hit that weight um yeah it's one of my, I, i'm even starting to like the keyboard more than thinkpads because thinkpads have really 
deep keyboards and really long key presses. So I'm, I'm starting to like this a lot more. I think it has a perfect resistance. It's quiet. It, it feels good to type on. This is um, an excellent keyboard, uh, assuming that it's it's the same keyboard, if not one that's improved from the, the 1030 and the 1040 from the last ones that I reviewed. Okay, so see how it says protected by HP SureStart, if you quote that before I move the camera. Um, so it has a ton of security features, okay? And that is something that, that HP has worked a lot on in the Elite lineup. So there's SureStart. It's... Um, protects the BIOS, checks it against a uh, master copy, and it replaces it if it's corrupt. It's similar to like the SureView display. Anything called Sure is a security feature and there's a lot of them. Okay, so that's all set up and it's getting ready. So let's take a look at the side. We have a USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type A port, which um, is nice. There's only one, of course. And of course the power button's over there. And then of course we have an HDMI 1.4, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So this thing is light, it's got thin bezels. So here's the thing, HP shrunk down the top bezel by 42%, okay? And that this is all over the uh, Spectre, uh, in the EliteBook X360 1030. Um, they shrunk down the side bezels by 14%. It's got an 86% screen to body ratio. Um, obviously, the, the display cover and the keyboard deck are made of magnesium. And so that gives you 22% lighter display cover, 32% lighter keyboard deck. The, um, the keyboard itself is 26% lighter. The glass trackpad is 36% lighter. So you notice we're getting a whole bunch of stuff popping up when we start up this PC. Uh, I don't know what the stock background should be, but it's certainly not supposed to be that. And that's, that's by the way, that's one of my biggest annoyances of Lenovo PCs is that you set up a new Lenovo PC and man, they just, you know, it doesn't sync your regular background. It syncs the one that it wants and then it goes to the rest of your PC. So this is actually the background for the Dragonfly, I believe. Okay, so a couple other things. By the way, this keyboard actually uses noise canceling to be quieter. It's pretty cool. Um, Front-facing speakers on the sides, if I'm not mistaken, there's going to be more speakers on the bottom, and that's because you can use it in any um, form factor. So this is a convertible, so you want speakers pointing at you no matter how you use it. So maybe you could watch a movie just like this, and um, it's, it's you know, that I, I, I appreciate HP's design in that way. Another thing, uh, there is a privacy guard on the display and we can just flip this over right it's on and on the camera so off on and, it, and that completely blocks the camera interestingly um hp i don't know if i've ever seen them do a physical guard like that for instance on the specter there was actually a switch on the side and what that that does is it disconnects the camera internally and it actually removes it from the device manager. This is actually just a physical block, which I uh, I didn't expect to see. So yeah, very nice PC. I'm really excited about this just because I love HP's Elite lineup. I think it's sexy. It's um, you know, it doesn't feel plasticky like uh, like some of the other magnesium laptops that I've used. I think they did a great job with this. One thing I don't know is if there's any way to. Oh, there we go. I was wondering how you attach the pen, and it just magnetically attaches to the lid like that. I'm sure there's a way to do it straight, but, you know, we'll figure that out later. Um, yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of magnetically attaching pens. Um, they fall off in the bag, you know, but it, it's better than nothing, obviously, which HP has in the past done nothing, where you just had to kind of pen, throw the pen in your pocket. Um it's, it's better than pen loops. Pen loops just kind of take up space. They take out, stick out the side. My personal favorite is pens that are stored somehow in the device, like Microsoft's new Surface Pro X that has, it has the pen garage and the keyboard. Dell has an Inspiron like that as well, but that's a convertible. Um, or Lenovo will put a smaller pen inside the device. Of course, the sacrifice there is that you get a smaller pen. So very light, uh, smaller footprint, I'm excited to test this out. This is going to be a good machine. I know because I've used Elite Books before and they are 
always on point. Not always. I've had a few lemons, but um, but the like the 1000 series, which this can very much be considered a 1000 series. It's very premium. Uh, this model right here, which like I said, Core i7, 8665U, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of storage, uh, four cell battery, well, with a two cell battery. It costs 2079 and then plus the four cell battery. That was um, when HP spec this out for us, that's what they said. Uh, 2079 plus your model includes the larger battery. Um, and also the pen is sold separately for $76. So, I guess, see, here's the thing about Elite Books. They're amazing PCs. And I almost, like, I wish they worked closer with the Spectre team. Like, the, the amazing keyboards that they put on this thing, they're phenomenal. Why can't I get that on a Spectre? Because if you're a consumer, there's a lot of stuff that this thing has. But there's also a lot of things that this thing has that you don't want. Like, a lot of those security features, like, you don't want them. Like, they will, um, th there is a, you know, a very minor, but there is a performance impact to it. Um, stuff like that. And and you, you don't want that stuff getting in your in your way if you're a consumer. As, as a business, they're fantastic. But as a consumer, like, like I just want to specter with, with some of the really great stuff as, as Elite Books. So, anyway... Um, I'm excited about this. I, I love the color of it. It's not Poseidon blue. It's a different kind of blue. It's, you know, but, but, um, you know, I, I, I think it's a beautiful machine. It's super light, which I, you know me, I love light machines. So, uh, yeah, I'll have more on that in a few weeks. Stay tuned. I'm Richard Neowin. Have a great night.